Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. And um, today I'm going to be doing a video called Travel News UK: Five Exciting Facts, September 2021, Part Four. So, it, hi, if you are new here to my channel my name is uh, Rebecca and um, I love talking about travel and lifestyle please subscribe to my channel it's the red and white subscription button also click the notification bell uh, so you never miss a, a upload and it's free to subscribe to my channel and um, in the UK it's a beautiful day today lovely sunshine and um, here in the Midlands and what more can you want <laughs> um, and it's one of those uh, that it's not too hot but it's also not too cold as well the temperatures so um, they're great so now uh, let's uh, jump into uh, five fantastic facts and uh, kicking off with Euro News, a UK red and amber list, uh, what has changed um, but from the 4th of October 2021 there will be just a single red list of countries in addition uh, fully vaccinated travellers uh, will not need to take a PCR test uh, before travelling uh, to the UK unless uh, they are coming from a red list country. Day 2 uh, test, PCR test will be replaced with a cheaper lateral flow test so that's some really good news. Um, number two, at uh, Euro News, um, again, um, Grant Shacks has now announced eight countries will be removed from the red list the 22nd of September, uh, which, has, uh, which is uh, today. Um, these are Turkey, Pakistan, Maldives, Egypt, Sri Lanka, Oman, Bangladesh and Kenya. The government um, has said uh, the change will last until at least New Year at the very least so that's really good news and um, especially if anybody wants to see family and residents uh, relatives from those uh, countries or does want to go on um, a holiday or vacation to the, those countries um, and um, plus with them not being on the red list um, you don't need to quarantine um, either so, uh, so that's really good news um, number three see NBC India slams the UK's new travel rules as discriminating warns um, retaliation so that country's really not happy um, because I think they may not like um, some countries um, that are, have been taken off the red list such as Turkey, Pakistan, Egypt, Sri Lanka, Oman, Bangladesh and Kenya, maybe, and their country hasn't. Um, I would say it was uh, to do with the high contravirus rates and obviously some countries, their contravirus rates have gone down an awful lot. So that's why... I would imagine they've been pulled off the red list um, as India and um, it's probably very prevent, uh, um, active the coronavirus throughout the whole, um, whole country that's what I would suspect anyway number four moving on and um, UK confirms acceptance of you 
United Arab Emirates COVID certificates travel weekly. So that's really good news. So people from the United Arab Emirates um, that have got COVID certificates uh, can come to the UK. And um, number five, last but not least, Travel Weekly, EasyJet UK missed uh, the boat with relaxation of travel curbs. Um, again, this is a difficult one um, and a really difficult situation, uh, uh, really. Because obviously you don't want rates going sky high again in the UK, but um, but obviously at the same time you don't want people not being able to see relatives, family, or if they really wanted to go on vacation abroad, not being able to go. But it's again all comes to safety at the end of the day um so i would like to thank you for watching and um i'll see you um another day and thank you for watching have a nice day and bye for now thank you bye